Hello Indie Game fans, May 2020 did indeed have a whole bunch of fantastic games, too many to count in fact, but I have narrowed that down to 15 more interesting indie games hidden gems that you should check out. Special shoutout goes to the not so indie Shantae and the Seven Sirens, which had its full release on Steam after having a strange partial release on Apple Arcade. Fantastic Metroidvania title with interesting boss fights and the classic transformation based Metroidvania abilities. As was pointed out before, Shantae does seem to be quite indie but is far from it given the studio size, but this is a good one which I enjoyed in vain. The actual 15 in the game Hidden Gems shall begin with Mists of Noya, a side-scrolling survival crafting base defense title. Protect the blue crystal at the heart of your base at night while venturing out into the world, exploring and gathering resources for crafting and upgrades in the day. There are 5 unique character classes which provides the variety and while it can be played solo, Co-op seems to be where it's at, even though I have not tried it myself. Of course, the pixel art is yet another highlight, so a promising start in early access and one to keep an eye on. One that certainly qualifies as a hidden gem is the beautiful Atto, a Metroidvania title with a focus on boss fights, but with its share of exploration, upgrades, collectibles, and secrets as well. It is quite minimalistic in design since it is a classic revenge story which is told without words, but since all the combat is 1v1 encounters against bosses and mini bosses where you cannot spam attacks, it is indeed very well crafted and worth a play. I was pleasantly surprised to find out through some of your comments that the Korean title Library of Ruina is actually the follow-up to 2018's Lobotomy Corporation and does have some story connections to that game. Play as a librarian who has to slay visitors, upon which that turns them into books, expanding the library and drawing in even more powerful people. Yes, that is as strange as it sounds. There is turn-based deck building combat, but it is not a roguelite as far as I can tell, so certainly very interesting and may be worth keeping an eye on in early access. Side-scrolling Crypt of the Necrodancer crossed with one-finger death punch describes Rhythm Fighter quite nicely, 
which, if you are not familiar, is an action game where you need to hit the buttons on the beat. Lovely art style and awesome music makes it one to check out. Sandbox construction games don't get much better than Nimbata's The Space Drone Constructor. Built and designed mining drones with all sorts of lasers and weapons as you mine planets to get materials for more upgrades. There's a story campaign and even multiplayer support where your drones need to accomplish various objectives, but for giving us fun building tools to create anything that you can think of, this gets a spot. A land butchered by war, afflicted by pestilence, terrorized by wild beasts. The turn-based medieval strategy game Rising Lords does strongly remind me of board games due to its presentation and mechanics, having you managing your own fiefdom, caring for your people while fending off and perhaps conquering your neighbours. Various scenarios and randomised events does make this have potential. ...the devastated lands and gives the people hope. But your great wealth and glory can make even your dearest friends envy your success and turn them into your fiercest enemies. Do you have the skills, the bravest knights and most loyal soldiers to take what is rightfully yours? because there can be only one lord to rule over all others. One lovely smaller title that crept up on me is Summer Paws, a pretty simple hidden object game where you interact with the environment to find a variety of cats. It is super cute and super chill and just very pleasant. Speaking of cats, I'm pretty proud of this one since Thailand Made Time Lai is a time manipulation stealth puzzle game where you control a girl and a cat who need to find their way past robot guards and through a surreal world in order to get home. You need to get both characters to the end point safely in each level with free use of the time rewinding mechanic in order to get there. Some interesting mechanics puzzle-wise and a beautifully made game. One of the prettiest games to come out last month is the roguelite tactics game Moonfall, where you need to traverse the wasteland to get to the valley where the broken fragments of the moon fell. Position matters where you need to place the right type of character at the right place to block fire, heal, gather resources and so on, with crafting to aid you in between the different areas. beautiful, smaller game but don't expect a hundred hours out of this, but regardless, very well made and deserves a shout out.
You know me, I'm a fan of slick action platformers, and one which does fall into that category is Kama Knight. In between slashes, aerial attacks, air dashes, ground pounds, wall jumping and more, the aesthetics of this are pretty nice with a Korean feel, and for better or worse, depending on your preference, this is a linear 2D action game and not a roguelite. Fun, fast combat makes this worth picking up. That's the Earth, burning down and taking humanity with her. So we asked for a spaceship. They gave us tools and said, build your own. We are a colorful group. Cops, doctors, farmers, engineers, people with the skills and grit to take a basic platform and turn her into something that can fly. I'm very high on the space colony sim Space Haven since you control a varied bunch of crew members who must work together to survive. The Earth has been destroyed by what is possibly nuclear war and humanity has sent our best and brightest to the stars with the hopes that one day they might find another world to inhabit. Good management systems and quite polished, even though the developers refer to this as an alpha version. It's dark out there. We will make it work. We'll shine a light on it all. And maybe, just maybe, we'll find a new home for humanity. Breaking Bad Simulator Family Man is an open world adventure RPG where you owe money to the mob and must do whatever it takes to pay them back or lose your family in the process. Pretty freeform and darkly humoured, but it's not too bad and interesting in concept. Morio Tenebrae, previously known as Morio Tales, is a PS1 era inspired adventure game with horror elements, having surreal, dreamlike qualities in the environments and that trademark polygonal art style. The story tells of a missing girl and a dark ritual which is incomplete, with its share of severed heads, spirits, zombies, bodies and more. This is an adventure game through and through, with conversations and item-based puzzles forming the gist of the gameplay, but a superbly done world and atmosphere.
loved spending time in this world and would love to see more of this art style in indie games. I have to go back. A grim dark sci-fi metroidvania title of interest is Dark Light, taking place in an apocalyptic cyberpunk world. It has Souls-like influence, as seen from the gigantic bosses and somehow a dragon as well, but it's pretty well put together stylistically. There's leveling and upgrading, non-linear exploration and secrets as well, so quite a classic metroidvania, but in a strange move, it's in early access, much like Delit in Wonder Labyrinth. However, what is here is polished and fun, and I'm waiting for the full release. Another stylish adventure game to check out is Umurangi Generation, a photography-focused title that may just whet your appetite while waiting for Pokemon Snap. Play as a career and freelance photographer as you traverse the city, snapping shots and getting paid. Photography games are always a little bit strange since you are graded and get a cash value based on the composition of your shot, but as you know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Regardless, very unique title which has both Maori influence and draws from Jet Set Radio but is the definition of a hidden gem taking the number one spot. To see more of the big picture, check out these awesome videos and I will see you after the jump.